Here we are! Hmm? Doesn't this mean we're not supposed to go inside? Even a grade school student would know better than to shoot a movie here. Unless they were extremely stupid. What are you waiting for? Hmm? We have to climb over to get inside. It could also be an extremely crazy high school student. Come on, Mikuru, start climbing. Huh? Uh. Hmm? Uh. <laughs> this fence is rather high. I think it's going to be difficult to climb it. But I guess we have no other choice. Hmm? Uh. Uh. Whoa, that fence must be really old. So am I playing a water creature or something? This place used to be open to the general public. I hang out here for hours. Is no one else concerned that we're breaking in? All right, here's the scene. Mikuru finds herself in a desperate situation, so she's worried. Because Yuki used magic to seal the Mikuru beam. Yes! This is totally cool! Hold this, make yourself useful! Huh? Mikuru, are you ready for the take? Mm. Yes! More energy! Yes! I feel your pain. Quiet on the set! And... Action! If, if you think this will discourage me, then you're wrong! The evil alien Yuki! I, I suggest that you quietly leave Earth right away! Kyle! He's of significant value to us. Hence, we will take action. We will begin by invading Earth. Cut! I, I won't let you get away with this, even if it costs my life! Cut! <sighs> Great, you're starting to come out of your shell! That's a spirit! That was good work, Mikuru. Come over here! Okay... What's next? I wish we could get out of here already. Before someone reports us for trespassing. Well, that's a huh? cool looking camera. Wow, imagine all the embarrassing clips of Mikuru on it. <laughs> it's no laughing matter. It could cause Asahina to suffer mental anguish so serious that she refuses to go to school. Sorry about the delay, but you'll see it was very much worth it. Ta da! Check it out! What? <laughs> Is this some kind of nightmare? She's going to repeat yesterday's disaster! You know what to do, right? Use the miracle Mikuru Iyer to fire at something! Make this action seem a great spectacle! Uh, uh, <laughs> Stop it, Yuki! Your character's supposed to be a mage! A mage wouldn't wrestle with enemies! Although, this would probably sell. You might be onto something here. Go, Kion! Start building them! Let's not waste Yuki's creative idea! This isn't for the movie. But you're right, this would sell. No, I shouldn't record this scene. Well, maybe just for a second. No, I can't! I just can't! Huh? What? You must quietly leave Earth right away! Oh man, we lost another blue contact lens! I was careless. The laser was configured. It had dispersed and become harmless. But this was a high oscillating particle cutter. <gasps> I think it's something similar to a monofilament. Nagato, can I ask you a quick question? What, um, did you inject into me this time? A force field that can be established on the surface. It will shift dimensional oscillating cycles, changing them to gravitational waves. That's remarkable. So the problem has been temporarily dealt with. That was close. It's a good thing everyone easily believed that the fence broke from natural deterioration. Fortunately, nobody got hurt from this incident. We must do something, though. I can't help but think that things will only get much worse if we continue filming. Perhaps, but we can't simply call off the movie. Do you honestly think Suzumiya's reaction would be good if we asked her to stop the filming? <sighs> Probably not. I'm pretty certain she will get up in arms. At the very least, Celestial's enclosed space will. There is no doubt in my mind that Suzumi is having the time of her life in the current setup. She enjoys the fact that she gets to call all the shots. The danger in this scenario is that she might be... using the movie as a medium to reconstruct the whole world. That girl's as selfish as ever. 
As always, Suzumi is not aware of any of this. She thinks that the world she's creating here is purely fictional. Problem is, she's quite passionate about this. I'm presuming what's making her unconsciously affect the real world is her passion. Passion smashing. Are you saying we get a bad ending either way? I can't say how things are going to end, but with regard to what we should do next, my vote goes to continuing the movie. <sighs> Even if it turns Asahina into a superhero? <laughs> Present consequences have been modest compared with Celestials. Considering the prospect of starting the world from scratch, wouldn't you also choose to deal with supernatural phenomena on a case-by-case -case basis? <sighs> Actually, neither of those two sound very good. Why don't we just whack Haruhi while she's not looking? You know, knock her out until the cultural festival's over. Oh, that's a scary notion. Although, if you're willing to take the full responsibility, go ahead and be my guest. <sighs> I can't shoulder the entire world. That's too much. <gasps> hmm? There's no need to worry about me. I'll get through this one way or another. Such determination. It's touching. The rest of you will take on this role. Let me explain. Mikuru fights for justice, but she can't harm normal people in the process. Yuki takes advantage of that weakness by using magic to control the humans. So, because Mikuru can't fight back, she gets beaten up. <laughs> <laughs> Mikuru gets all beaten up! Let's start right now! I want the bad guys to throw Mikuru into the lake! What? <laughs> Come on, you're not serious. In this lake, it might feel warm, but it's already fall. And the water is not exactly sanitary. Su Su Susumia, can we go to a swimming pool? Shooting this scene will be a major challenge. But let me remind you, the sacrifice must be made for the sake of realism. Otherwise, the movie will come out looking like a joke. This will also allow you to get out of your comfort zone, which of course is important. It's a chance for you to take the next step to being a star. Get it now? So shall we start? Hey, hang on! I'm ready to start! I knew it! Yes! That's why I handpicked you as a brigade member. Asahina. Ready and... Be well. Don't panic. Here, grab my hand. This is stupid. We have enough junk to fill two or three vending machines, but we don't even have a single towel around here? Hmm. This isn't bad for their first meeting. You can tell that Itsuki and Mikuru still feel awkward. Really? It looked like the old Koizumi and Asahina to me. We can move on to the next scene now. We're going to do the part where Itsuki takes Mikuru home and hides her there after saving her. Hey, wait! That makes no sense! You can't do that! What happened to Nagato and the controlled humans? The audience won't buy the story if you have missing parts in the plot, you know? Boy, are you annoying. People will have no problem understanding if they're paying attention. What's wrong with you? You just wanted to throw Asahina into the water? Excuse me, I have a suggestion. My house is not very far from here. I could give Mikuru a quick change of clothes there so she doesn't catch a cold. Yes, that's perfect. Can we shoot in your room as well, Tsuruya? I want a scene where Itsuki and Mikuru are getting friendly and cozy. Sure, that won't be a problem at all. Uh... What about the two of us? You can huh? go home. I don't really care. Huh? You two should be thanking your lucky stars. In Haruhi's opinion, the two of you are basically as useful as a chocolate teapot. But that's actually something to be happy about right now. We're here! This is where I live! No way! What would I have to do to get to live in a place like this? This here is my bedroom! You can wait here until Mikuru's done with her bath! This bedroom is huge. Makes my own room look like a doghouse. What a nice room! We'll get a lot of good shots here! Oh, right! Tsuruya, I just thought of something. Come here! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got everyone drinks! Thank you! Hello, I'm back. I'm sorry I took so long. Here you go! Huh? Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm trying to be a gentleman here. Asahina, what you're wearing is criminal. No need to be shy. Drink up. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Teruya. Even the sight of her drinking is a test of my politeness. Okay, let's get started then. As she wanted, we began shooting. Asahina had to pretend she was unconscious as Koizumi walked in while carrying her in his arms. He laid her down on a mattress, which happened to be on the floor for no reason. Hikaru, it's time for you to wake up. <laughs> Did you get enough rest? Yes, but um, where am I right now? Oh, you are in my house. I see. Well, thank you for helping me. She looks so adorable. She's such a natural. Good, now put your faces closer together. Uh -huh. Hikaru, close your eyes. And mm. Koizumi, put one arm around her. That's it. Now lean in slowly and kiss her. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This scene doesn't make sense. Tell us, what are they supposed to be doing? What's this about? What do you think? It's a love scene. We have to include one in case we get a late night time slot. Are you nuts? Now you're thinking this will be aired on television? And Koizumi, why are you going along with this? If anything like this is shown to people at school, I guarantee you'll get hundreds of hate mail in your locker the following day. Including hundreds from me! <laughs> Mikuru's acting funny! <laughs> I wanted to say there was nothing funny. But she was acting strange. Her eyes were out of focus, her cheeks were slightly flushed, and she was just letting Koizumi have his way. <laughs> this is not amusing. Hey, Koizumi, does your head feel a little strange right now? Because mine does. Seriously, it was like she was drugged or something. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I did mix some alcohol into her juice. I was told that it would make her relax to help her act better. What? Haruhi, you can't just do whatever you want. Loosen up. Don't you think Mikuru looks sexy right now? Just kiss her already. By that, I mean on the lips. <laughs> Don't do it, Koizumi. <laughs> Director, I think I could use a break from doing this. Besides, it also looks like Asahina needs to get some rest. No, I'm completely fine. I can do this. <laughs> Uh, I guess I have no choice. Hmm? Man, how come you're already drunk? It was just a tiny bit of rice wine. Uh -huh. Leave her alone. You're the one to blame. Come on, get your act together. Uh -huh. <sighs> no, don't start whining again. That's not the right reaction. You're supposed to sit up straight whenever I tap you on the head like that. <sighs> All right, let's give it another try. Practice. <sighs> <sighs> Stop it. How is this useful? Where does this fit into your crazy movie? Are you questioning the director? I'm not obligated to tell you where this goes in the movie. You won't tell us because you haven't thought it through. You're making up stuff as you go. What do you know about anything? You have no clue what this film's about. You're the one who's making up stuff. Why don't you just admit to your mistake that you like making Asahina feel bad? Well, guess what? You have no right to do that! Just shut up, Kion! Nobody cares about your opinion! You don't even understand that I'm only doing what's customary on movie sets! There's nothing customary about that! It's wrong! Asahina's not a toy for you to play with! Well, I've decided that she is! Mikuru Asahina is my toy from now on! <laughs> Me go, Koizumi. She can't keep doing this. Someone has to teach her a lesson so she'll listen. If she doesn't change, she'll spend the rest of her life bullying those around her. Please stop fighting. You two can't fight like this. Otherwise, all right, that's classified in for. I'm 
sorry, Kion. I shouldn't have done that to her. <laughs> and don't you worry about Mikuru. I'll take her home or have her stay the night. I must say, I expected you to keep your composure back there. You and I both, Koizumi. Surprisingly, closed space has not appeared. Suzumiya's subconscious must be restraining itself for some reason. You must be thrilled. Less work for you. Before you go, there's something I want to show you. Can you come with me? And if I refuse? You should see this. It won't take long. Do you still remember what Suzumiya said yesterday? Like I'd remember every random thing that comes out of her mouth? It might come back to you, after you've seen this. Apparently, they were already like that this morning. <laughs> I guess somebody painted their feathers overnight. But you can see upon closer inspection that it's now their natural color. They must have been so terrified yesterday that they turned pale. <laughs> that would be amusing, wouldn't it? But I don't believe it works that way. <laughs> I know it doesn't. I'd prefer it if the doves were completely white. But I can't afford to be picky right now. Yet she got what she wanted. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. From the way I see it, Suzumiya is a very special human being who has been granted divine power. And if you thought about it, with everything that's happened in connection with her, it's quite believable. We've both witnessed it with our very eyes. I suppose divine is fitting. Although I have to admit it. Didn't you say things could exist just because she wants them to? I did? Are you sure about that? That's what you said. I'm kidding, I did say that. Suzumiya has the capacity to recreate the world. Just as easily as she can destroy it. Who even knows if this world we're living in is merely one of her failed efforts? And if that were the case, then perhaps unbeknownst to herself, Harui Suzumiya is here on a mission to correct it. Whatever. With that in mind, I think we should be concerned. The last thing we'd want to do is interfere with her interests. We don't want to be the ones to prevent her from accomplishing her mission. Huh. We should spite her. In a way, if we're not with her, we're against her. And when Suzumiya finally reconstructs the world into its correct form, what guarantee do we really have that we'll still be a part of that new world? Isn't it also possible that we'll just be removed like unwanted bugs? Who knows? It's likely. And to think, I've grown rather fond of this world we live in. This place is a beautiful product. All of the hard work and dedication by humans throughout the ages. I would hate to be the one responsible for destroying it. Needless to say, that's the reason why we're attempting to deal with Suzumiya. Is it worth going through all that trouble just to save this world? Hold on. I thought you found your own way to return from closed space because you felt the same way about the current world. Or was I mistaken? <laughs> well, I don't remember. I apologize if I said anything out of line. I mean, I was explaining things under the impression that we're trying to protect this world. I'm sorry. It would appear that Suzumi is too preoccupied with feeling depressed to feel irritated. Really? And why is that? I think you should know the answer. All right, I'll spell it out for you. Suzumiya believed that you were the one person who would remain loyal to her no matter what happened. You might complain and protest, but in the end you would still forgive her. Only an ancient martyr would be capable of forgiving that little brat. This is a lot to ask of you, but do you think you can try to cheer her up? If her frame of mind doesn't improve, I think we can expect something a lot more dangerous than closed space. I can't begin to imagine how she views the world now that she's crestfallen. I'm sure it's not good. So in other words, you want me to comfort her? Yes, it's best if you could kiss and make up. Why is that supposed to work? I mean, it's not like we're best friends to begin with. Never mind. I thought your anger towards her would have subsided by now. Looks like I was wrong. I definitely lost my cool yesterday. It's because the goodness of my heart couldn't bear watching Haruhi's cruelty towards Asahina. I think that's what it was. Then again, it might have been a case of calcium deficiency. 
Why, you ask? I drank an entire gallon of milk last night, then woke up today with no rage. Though it could just be a placebo effect. Making a movie? What a waste of time. Not really. In fact, didn't you want to hang out with Suzumi and the others today? You said you even canceled all your plans. You shouldn't be mentioning that. I changed my mind. Beginning this moment, I don't want any involvement with that mess. Your little movie? Huh. It's just going to end up being garbage. Quote me on that. <laughs> You're the last person who should be saying that. Hmm? We don't need you to tell us how things will turn out, mm. so be quiet. It's frustrating to hear you say it out loud. At least Haruhi is trying to do something for the cultural festival. She's being creative. Can you say the same for yourself? Even if her idea is silly, it still makes her better than someone else who does nothing but sit and complain all day. Seriously, he's getting on my nerves. Let's see. Why is this bothering me so much? When did I suddenly become passionate about making this ridiculous movie? Is there something wrong, Kion? Suzumi is in a bad mood. Did something happen? It's probably a lover's quarrel. <laughs> right, I get it. I'm going to end up doing what Harry asked me to, and then I'll whine about it. The truth was, I had a lot more in common with Tanaguchi than I would ever care to admit in public. No wonder he was making me all upset. <clears throat> that little monster's so annoying, she made me realize something I didn't want to know. Darn it! Now I feel like I have to do this, even though I'll regret it! Mm, darn it! Uh, uh. Hey, Harry. What do you want? I want to make sure this movie's a success. <laughs> of course we will! As you know, I'm the overall director. Therefore, success is guaranteed! There was never any reason to be concerned. Talk about simple-minded. Well... I'd choose to have this version of Haruhi on any given day, instead of a depressed one. Let's make a movie! I know I asked for your help, but did you have to use those words? I'm sorry. Instead of keeping things peaceful, this is going to stir up her imagination more. I'm sorry. <sighs> We're going to have our hands full at this rate. We could do a scene for cherry blossoms! Thank goodness for abnormal weather conditions! Okay, strike a pose, Mikuru! <gasps> That's it! We also need to have a cat! A cat? The witch will need a pet of some sort. A cat would be the most appropriate, right? I wonder if there are any black cats around. When did Nagato's character turn from evil alien to a witch? Just find a cat, alright? That's the concept I want us to go with right now. Hey, Yuki, would you know of any place where there are stray cats that we can choose from? <laughs> 